Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to explore a new topic in 8086 microprocessor and that is uh, addressing mode in 8086 microprocessor. So first of all, we need to understand what is addressing mode. Uh, addressing mode can be defined as it is written here, which the ways which can be used to access the data or operand. Uh, in microprocessor or in microcontroller or in embedded system, uh, data is normally known as or termed as operand, right? Whenever we use the word operand, operand means we are referring to the data, right? So the ways by which data or the operand can be accessed is known as addressing mode. I mean, there are a number of ways by which you can actually use operand or data. Uh, that particular way or that particular method is known as addressing mode, right? Operands can be two types, right? Either source operand or destination operand, right? It is written over here that uh, operand can be source operand or operand can be destination operand, right? So we need to understand what is a source operand. Uh, source operand can, uh, can take three different types or can take three different categories. It can be immediate value. That means a value which will be provided inside the instruction, right? or it can be memory location, or it can be register, or it can be input, right? So source operand means the data source or the operand source, right? Uh, the places which can be used as a source for data or operand are, there are basically four possible alternative and those alternatives are immediate value. That means value will be provided inside the instruction itself or value uh, source could be a memory location that means your operand or data is present in some memory location and you need to use that specific memory location, right? Or operand or data may be stored in any internal register. So you can use that register as a source, right? Or there can be a fourth option which can be input. That means there is an input port at which data is coming or the operand is coming. So you can use that input as a source, right? So in source operand, uh, whenever operand is being taken from a certain source, so you can have only these four possible alternatives, right? Similarly, there is an option of alt, uh, of uh, destination operand, right? How does uh, operand can be destined, right? Or where possibly you can send that information or data or operand to store, right? We can actually store information in memory location. We can actually send some value to register or you can use the output port to send the data, right? Or to send the operand. So for the destination purpose, uh, operand can go only to these three locations, memory location, register, lo register or output, right? Uh, here you need to be careful uh, here that immediate uh, value is not an option for a destination because immediate value, something is provided. And when we say provided, me we means uh, we are going to be a source, right? While in destination, there is no concept of source. Uh, so destination value, destination operand can never be an immediate value. Based upon these uh, categories of operand, right? There can be uh, three major classification of addressing mode. And those are what? Those are uh, immediate addressing mode, right? Register operand addressing mode or memory operand addressing mode. So uh, based upon the operand type, uh, what kind of operand we are using, either it is immediate or some memory location or some register, right? So addressing operand can be classified into these three categories. Uh, one is known as immediate operand addressing mode. Other is known as register operand addressing mode. And the third one is memory operand addressing mode. In coming tutorials, we will be considering their examples and their definitions. So uh, in this tutorial, that's it. If you have any confusion or query, you can post your confusions in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.